At 18, just coming into the military, I decided to stand up for Islam. You know, I was working in my job here in D.C., in Washington, D.C. I wasn't practicing right away. But it wasn't until I came to this masjid, Masjid Muhammad, at 18, uh, that my world had begun to open up and broaden. My perspectives had become, become broadened uh, that I said I need to live this life, not just profess it. I don't want to wear, wear the label, I want to wear the life. So when I went back to my job, and, I, and because Friday prayers is something that's a requirement, praying five times a day is a requirement. I obviously you wouldn't pray all those on the job, but I wanted to now, the ones that I was required to make during the duty day, I wanted to make those prayers. And my supervisor, who, who knew me when I wasn't doing those things, now had to know me to do those things. I had to request these things. And he wanted to know. That was a challenge for him. And he didn't understand it. He, did, he thought it was a cult. And uh, he was advocating for me to stop doing that, and he didn't want to facilitate it. Uh, but I began to learn my rights. Again, the Constitution, uh, freedom of religion. The Constitution protects that. And I knew that. And the military, the chaplains, are, are, are given to the military to protect that. So I had a lot of challenges initially, uh, being able to pray, you know, places weren't there, then, then trying to get that facilitated for me. And then Friday, being able to leave on Fridays, to leave the base, see, during those times, we didn't have a Juma service, a prayer service on the base. It was still new to America, but at that minute we were beginning to move. So I had to leave the base. Now where the bases are, you'll probably find the service on the base, which is what I began to establish once I left DC and, and traveled to other bases. Uh, but to get permission to leave, and it's normally beyond an hour lunch break because you got to travel time, you have to come, then go back. And that's every Friday, you know, it's mandatory every Friday. Uh, so to get them to understand that and to see how that helped me to be better. And one thing, I started being much better at my job because one of the sayings that was very dear to me, the Prophet Muhammad said, when a Muslim does anything, he seeks to perfect it. He seeks to be good at it. And that's, how I, that's, and that's what helped me on my job. I was good at it. And they knew at some point I wasn't just trying to get out of work because I would come back. At some point, because of my level of performance, now Islam influenced this in me. It was, and I got a lot of awards. I'm highly decorated in the military. Uh, but it, it came with challenges. 